thousand by fifty-four percent. Fifty-four percent, two hundred seventy thousand. But no, she said it's costing her, and it's costing them a hundred thousand. Yeah, it. to give it to her plus the hundred and thirty-two thousand for the. It's costing five hundred thousand. Yeah. To, to, to give it, which doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Then. It's costing five hundred thousand. Yeah, it's costing five hundred thousand. This happened in a real life situation. That's what I mean. But it's just you. It's costing the value of it. Oh, but to give it to her, yeah. It, like, it's not going to happen in real life, no, it's just to uh, know it for, for exam life, we have to know it. Okay, our next consequence is our, come on to that. Okay, excess interest paid certain directors. Okay, this one is okay. So the overall limit is calculated as 13% of the lesser of the total loans towards the directors of the company or the nominal amount of issued share capital plus the share premium account at the beginning of the accounting period and the excess is treated as a distribution. Okay, so what happens is the participator loans money to the company. Okay, so the participator loans money to the company. Okay, then they can only claim a percentage. Okay, so they loan money to the company, right? And so the company pays them 5,000 in interest. Okay, well they're not allowed to claim that full 5,000 interest. They've used this 13% rule here, which we'll go through now in a minute. And then say so they're allowed to claim a thousand of it. And they have paid 5,000 to the director. Well, a thousand is allowed it as an expense. 4,000 is going to be treated as distribution again to the director. Okay, and the best way to do this is that to do a little example of it. So let's just look at the example here. Okay, the excess interest. ABC Limited. Limited is a company which issued share capital of 5,000. Tom, one of directors, gave a loan to the company of 80,000 on the 1st of January 14. The company pays Tom interest of 5% per annum, which is 4,000 euro. This is included in the company's expenses. What are the tax consequences for AB Limited? So the first thing we have to work out is see how much interest, how much of that 4,000 interest they can actually claim as an expense. Okay, so if we go over to our Excel here. Okay, so we're trying to find out how much of that 4,000 interest they're allowed to claim. Okay, so it's got issue to your capital. is 5,000 euro. Okay, the loan, the loans by the directors is how much? 80,000. So we can claim the lesser of 13% of either of them. So it's 5,000 by 13%. And that is 650 euro. Or 80,000 by 13%. That is 10,400. Okay, that's your first calculation you actually have to do. 13% of the share capital or 13% of the loans given by the directors. And it's nearly always the share capital one is the lower one. So that's the amount, that, 160, that 650 euro now is the amount of interest that they can claim in their PL account as an expense. Okay, so look that down there. Okay, so company can claim. <coughs> 650 euro in interest in the PL account. As an expense, yeah. As an expense, yeah. So it's whichever figure works out the lower. The lower, and it's nearly always the share capital one is the lower one. Okay.
Okay, and then if they already, if they have the full four thousand, it's full four thousand. Is it four thousand? Yeah, full four thousand. <coughs> was was put into the expenses. Then you have a leg back.
and the gross loan to revenue. The net payment is grossed up by 100 over 80 to give the gross amount of the loan. The income tax charge is not apply if some conditions exist. I'll just give you the conditions. They're actually, if you go to the end of that page, on page 12, There. I used to have these on the bullet point just to maybe instead of going through all the things you can actually so, see, see, the, see the loan to participators and see the third bullet point if the loan is less than 19,050 and the director owns less than 5% of the share capital and works full time in the company this rule does not apply okay so if the loan is less than 19,050 if the director owns less than 5% of the cap share capital and if he works full time in the company, the rule does not apply. Okay? That, that's what we put in there for when the income tax charge does not apply if some conditions exist. So if he gets a loan for 18 grand, there's no implication. No implication. If he gets a loan from the company, it, 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 there's no implication. He just has to pay it back. Yeah, yeah, at some stage. Probably yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Tax in, in, in a real life situation, you try not to give, get the company to give loans to the, to the, the participator. It just makes life a lot more easier. Tell them, give them no loans. Take them, take it over the company the other way. So all them three things have to be in effect for them to survive? Yeah, yeah. Are you better to take it over the company and pay it in tax on it? You probably are better, yeah. <clears throat> just, just, I, our lives like put into a pension for the future or something like that. We'll be learning them as we go along. Do you know what I mean? Just, it's all part of the tax planning. Because getting money back onto the company again can be hard. Right. Do you know? Or else, like, we just be paying a salary and have, and, and do you know what I mean? Your wife will pay the salary. It's hard, like, in the companies there. Okay, so this is our, our, our the loans participators. Okay, so the example ABC is a closed company and made a loan of 40,000 to one of its shareholders. Six months later, the participator will pay 8,000 of the tax. Okay, and the thing is here, the company is paying income tax. Okay, think of it as they're paying income tax, not corporation tax this time now, okay? So it's income tax they're paying. So I'll do the example out here. Okay, so this is AB, it's a closed company. Divided by 0.8 again. 
as a local expense. So we're going to have to add it back to the monorail backs in the CT computation. So you released it all by debiting into your debiting credits. It's not allowed as an expense, and you have to add, add it back inside in your corporation tax computation. Because we still up to it will actually reduce your net profit. So when you go over to your do your corporation tax, you have to do your, your normal add it back. So like add it back depreciation, you would add back this loan inside there as well. So you can't write it off as a bad debt. You can't write it off as a bad debt, no. So then the, the consequences for the individual. Okay, so the consequences for the individual then of the shareholder. Okay, he's going to have to pay tax at his marginal rate under case four. In his 2014 tax computation. Okay, I'll show the computation just so you have an example of it, okay? So we have, he's got rental income of 42, and he won't have case 4 income of. 25,000, okay? The full amount of the loan, 25,000. Okay, so we've got schedule D, case 4, of 25,000, which is the full amount of the loan. We've got schedule D, case 5, which is our Rental income, which gives us 67,000. Okay, so that's his total income. Let's see the allowances. I'm presuming these are, we find whether they're capital allowances off the rent. Your case four, your case five, giving you a total income of sixty-seven, less your allowances, giving you a tax income of sixty-six thousand, and your total is single. Okay, so you apply your tax bands. So he's single, so you get thirty thousand eight hundred at twenty percent. And the balance then, which is 33,200 at 41%. Okay, so we have And say if his rent was. 75 grand or something. Would so it still be at um, 41 percent? No, it would be. Oh, it would be in the same Yeah. So, like, if it was, this was 40 you're saying, is it? Yeah. yeah I'm just saying. Yeah. If, if, if it was below, it doesn't have to be the higher rate. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. It could be still the same. Yeah. Yeah. So up to 41, it can be like, but if these bands are enough, it'll just be at the 20 percent. Okay, so at the moment he owes 20,172. He's single, so we've got a single allowance, which is 1650. Which brings down to 18,522. And he's allowed to take off. 
the income tax paid by the company here now? Do the 5,000 think the company paid? He's actually allowed to take that off as a refundable tax credit. Charges. We just turn it off there if you don't mind. 